Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Darth Tedward and I suck at intros because I am a bot. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Darth Tedward and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your camera, your good camera, whatever that is, in OBS and Streamlabs at the same time. This main use for me is for going live on TikTok, but you can use this for anything that you need to use both platforms for. With PCs, it's very hard to use the same camera source in two different applications, so this is an easy way around this issue. Issue. The first thing you want to do is load up your OBS and make sure your camera is in there where you want it inside of your scene. The issue with this method is if you try and move your camera around inside of OBS, it will actually mess it up in Streamlabs. There is ways around it, but it is a very complicated way to fix it. I'm not going to be going in that in depth in this video. So now that you have your setup here, you want to make sure that you go and start your virtual camera. This will start your virtual camera inside of OBS. Then you want to pull up your Streamlabs. So you come over here to your Streamlabs and you see I already have my entire setup ready. I just don't have my camera. All you have to do is go to source, Add new source, add the video capture device, click add source, add new source, name it OBS camera or whatever you want to do, click add source, go to device and select OBS virtual camera. This will bring what your OBS is capturing into slobs. Then all you have to do, I'll make this a little bit larger so y'all can see it, is hold alt on your keyboard and crop your camera down into where it is your camera. And then you just enlarge it. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Once you enlarge it, you can kind of crop it a little bit more how you think it fits best. And now once you have it cropped in place, you are now using your actual camera inside of slobs. That way you don't have to have multiple cameras for the setup. It makes this very, very easy to use. You can use this for doing anything inside of slobs, not just going live on TikTok. This is just the reason why I use it. If this helped you in any way, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will try and get back to some of you if I can. And make sure you subscribe to find your way back for any helpful stream tips, any FPS tips that I have. I also like to post a little bit of Apex content on this channel. So if that's something you like, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and aim for greatness.